The Catholic Church opposes the use of contraceptives, which the RH bill covers. Lipa Archbishop Ramon Arguelles has been urging members of the Catholic Church to use their Catholic vote in the 2013 elections, and politicians who are in favor of the bill should not be supported. Akbayan Representative Walden Bellew on Tuesday expressed that lawmakers shouldn't feel threatened after the Catholic Church announced that no electoral support will be given to lawmakers who will vote for the passage of the RH bill. Well, I think na um, troubling yung stand ng Catholic Church, especially if they've been making statements, if it's true, as it's been reported that they have been threatening uh, legislators that they will remember them during election day. Uh, that's not... That's not really, um, you know, a good practice in our democracy. I, I think that uh, that is already uh, basically bringing threat uh, into the political process. Parang blackmail yan. So I hope that the church does not blackmail our legislators in this way, no? uh, by threatening them uh, with electoral retribution. That's the first thing. The second thing is bluff lang yan. Kasi alam naman natin walang Catholic vote. No? It's just a myth that's created by the bishops to try to create the impression na malakas ang church hierarchy. No. Bellius said that other countries in Southeast Asia, such as Indonesia, Thailand, and Vietnam, have developed because of good reproductive rights legislation and family planning practices. He also said that the RH bill will empower women to determine the size of their family and therefore to resolve the question on poverty. Meanwhile, members of the Reproductive Health Advocacy Network, or RHAN, gathered outside the House of Representatives to urge lawmakers to expedite the passage of the RH bill. Nandi Sanok of the Family Planning Organization of the Philippines, a group under RHAN, said that lawmakers who are not in favor of the bill are delaying the process and women and children have been suffering. Gusto namin may pasagad ito dahil matagal na ang proseso and then the people, especially the women and children, have been waiting for this kind of program, this kind of law that will generate programs and services that will um, promote reproductive health services for, the, for those who, who are in need. RHAN is the Philippines' largest working network of organizations and individuals advocating for RH policies and programs at the national and local levels. For ICN TV News, Donna Gonzalez Monserina reporting.